Certainly my luck with trucks this week. Good morning. It is uh, it's almost afternoon. <laughs> it's a uh, Tuesday in Washington and it's going to be a very boring day. Not a lot going on. It's raining. Kind of sucks. I'm kind of thinking of going indoors, taking you someplace I haven't been 20, 30 years, but someplace I used to spend a lot of time. Anyway, we'll see what's going on. That was the Prime Minister of the Netherlands. He's just arrived for a bilateral meeting at the White House and the Golden State Warriors are coming this afternoon but I wasn't invited to either of those events. So we'll just stick outside and see what we can see. Uh, that's what I get. The Dutch prime minister was late. I get a ticket. That's like That's a cow. Cell phone on wheels. Cellular on wheels. Verizon setting up on the mall. It must be some big event coming up. Yep, there's a big tent or a big screen. Oh, the March on Life. That's what's coming up. They need extra mobile phone coverage. Hey guys, over there you see the US Capitol. We're on the house side. And over here, you see the house office buildings, Cannon, Longworth, and Rayburn. This is where I started my political career over 35 years ago. And to be honest, I pretty much haven't been in these buildings in nearly 20 or 30 years. Today, let's go take a look and see if we can get inside. So guys, we're in the Longworth building. And uh, it's known as Long Roach. It was renovated when I was here. That was actually those uh, wires put up there when I was here. Let's go up to my old office, see who's there now. So I used to work on this hallway. 1407, I think, was the number. I don't know if it's still an office, though. 06. Yep. <laughs> Agriculture Committee. This used to be the office of my congresswoman. That was the uh, congresswoman's office. This was the main entrance. And we had a staff back there. But now it's the Committee on Agriculture. <laughs> There's a big courtyard just waiting to be redeveloped. That whole thing is new. It's like a new elevator shaft, I think. So after I worked out on the fourth floor, we moved up to the sixth floor. But... <laughs> It looks like all the offices up here have become sort of uh, changed around a bit. 1610. 1609 was our office. Yep. Yeah, I uh, went inside the office. It was a congressman from Indiana. Staff was very polite. And uh, it looked really familiar. Yeah, the paneling, all the file cabinets they used to have to deal with. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go down to my next set of offices. We're over in the Rayburn building. Uh, we're going to have to go through the tunnels to get there. So let's go take a look at the Capitol tunnels. So I guess I'm in the service elevator. But the service elevator is congressionally appropriated. So, it's gonna... so I'm down on the first floor of the Longworth building because Congressman Santos, the congressman from New York who's under a lot of pressure right now, his office is down around here. And maybe we can see the press gathered. Though I don't know if they're here today because Congress is out of session. So each congressman has the American flag and then a state flag or another flag. For example, there's a Marine Corps flag. Uh, there's a Florida. And this is Congressman Santos's office. There's no press here today. The press has been here for the last, well, a couple weeks. But they're gone now. Let's uh, go down to the basement. Back here are the loading docks for the mail room where they print off all the documents that you get junk mailed. They used to be printed down here. These used to be open. Now they've got barrier doors on them.
This will come over to Canon. So these are the tunnels that connect the office buildings. Now we're now going to go over New Jersey Avenue and go over to the Canon building. It used to be you can come through the parking garage, you didn't get screened. Now you get through security everywhere. So we're going to go into Canon. It's the oldest of the office buildings. It's the one being massively renovated right now. Now down at this level, it's nondescript and ugly. Upstairs, they're nice offices. But down here, meh, not so much. Now it's like a, uh, now it's like a museum. Yeah, and the capital is this way. There used to be a subway train that you can ride from Cannon over to the Capitol, but they moved it over to the Rayburn building. But that's how you get to the Capitol. That's Uncle Joe Cannon. He was a time of Roosevelt, I believe. Teddy Roosevelt was the president, but Joe Cannon ran the house. All about how mail works on Capitol Hill. And then chamber seats. Yeah, there's different votes. When the bells ring, they light up these stars on the clocks and it tells you how many votes there are. And there's this whole set of codes. Is it 15 minutes? Is it a five minute vote? Is it 15 and then a whole bunch of five minute votes? A lot of crazy stuff. Rayburn train station. Rayburn has a train that runs to the U.S. Capitol, a little subway. So let's go over there. There's the subway. <laughs> That's the credit unit we're going here. There's the bells there. Where's the elevator? Elevator's here. Let's go up to my old office. Now it's going up. Elevator is right nice. Top floor. More. Going yeah. This is a huge office building. It's probably, I think, maybe half the congressmen and most of the senior congressmen are in this building. Yeah, down here on the right. Let's see if it's uh, still a congressional office. This guy's got a lot of flags. Congressman Crawford from Arkansas. Well, let's go inside. Looks the same. <laughs> Different color paint. All right, let's go back down. Rayburn has a big cafeteria. I can't remember where the cafeteria is. I think it's on G. Let's go take a look and see if we can find the cafeteria. Well, I don't know if it's here, but it sure smells like it is. I can smell food. <laughs> I'm hungry. But I don't think I have time to eat here today. I gotta go back down to the White House and catch some other things. Let's just walk around. Yep. Mm. Steak and shake. Chicken. So many things. So this is where uh, Hill staff find roommates message boards putting up uh, need a roommate need this illinois alumni association gyms well that was kind of interesting yeah i haven't been there in 20 years at least uh still pretty familiar i didn't get lost i knew which way i was going 
but also, of course, a lot different. Didn't know any of the names on the doors. Closed to the public for COVID and kept closed after January 6th. Uh, there's been a lot of debate and controversy about that, but with the new Congress opening up, they reopened the buildings, and now the public can go in anytime they want. I'll uh, bring you back here some more times, maybe when the Congress is around and we'll see some congressmen. Over there, that is the visitor's line for entrance to the White House, and I believe that's the people that are coming to see the uh, Golden State Warriors, who are going to be meeting with POTUS and v POTUS today. Uh, I don't know where the Warriors are, if they've arrived already. It's their meeting's in about one hour. Um, they probably have already arrived. We'll go walk around and see what we can see. Maybe we'll come back this way if we see a big bus <laughs> show up. So over there at the old Ebbet Grill, which I've told you is a power lunch kind of place. You can see a mini motorcade. That's a cabinet secretary motorcade or a uh, White House personnel motorcade. There's uh, two cars probably inside having a power lunch at the old Ebbet. And we've got a motorcade arriving. Or a bunch of cops. Might be the Dutch Prime Minister leaving the White House. Let's see. police in the escort which means they're going up the Capitol Hill. Oh crapo there's the buses so it looks like the wizards or the warriors came in up here on this entrance not out in the public. Bummer. Okay so we're up here on H. We're gonna have to go around to get into Lafayette Park. They've locked off the exits. The uh, Bus has kind of blocked the view. I'm not really sure if we'll be able to see any of them coming out of the White House. Maybe we will. Depends what exit they come out of the White House. Um, but their meeting at the White House is at 2:45. It's now 1:45. So <laughs> yeah, I got a long wait. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's make our way over to Lafayette Park. This is the President's Escape Alley. That's the alley that goes back to the Treasury Annex. Apparently there are tunnels that can get the president to that alley and he can escape out this way. Don't worry, it's in Google Maps. It's not like a big, big secret. <laughs> this is Dolly Madison's house. This is now the Court of Appeals for the Federal Circuit, which is kind of like the uh, mini Supreme Court. The big cases often come up here to the Federal Circuit. But before that, James Madison and Dolly Madison after his term in office. All right, let's... Let's go down Lafayette Park, see what we can see today. Huh. Some new fencing up here. I guess they're going to fix something over here. I'm not sure which one of these buildings is getting renovated or painted or something like that. Oh, wow. Big old construction. Oh my gosh, could they actually be fixing the fountain? Could they actually fix the fountain? It's only been broken a couple years. And they've got all this uh, plast plastic roadway or whatever they use. Sheeting. Maybe. Maybe they're going to fix the fountain. We will monitor this and let you know. So, looks like we missed the arrival of the Warriors. These two buses are most likely them. But I think I'll be able to get in position to film them when they come back. I wonder how many Secret Service guys are taking selfies with them today. <laughs> There's the White House, a bunch of Secret Service units. The Warriors played basketball last night against the Wizards in Washington, D.C. Oh, what's that? University of Scranton Open House? Maybe that's just an advert. Yeah, I think it's just an advert. Let's go down this way. The Uyghurs are here protesting China's crackdown in what they call East Turkestan. They're out here all the time. And then they're protesters. Oh, 
been here 41 years. Okay guys, we're on a scooter. Hmm. Someone's coming out. That's all about. Dutch guy again? Nope. Well, that guy's always here. So my choices today were a $15 salad or a $20 Five Guys. <laughs> I could always go to McDonald's. Yep, squirrel. Gotta be a squirrel. All right, let's go to Five Guys. There's the White House. Pretty quiet. Stephen Curry is actually giving the press briefing, I understand. Maybe I can uh, get some of the video from the White House video feed later. But let's go over and get a quick burger so we can get back here in time. Uh, 2.45 is when they're supposed to meet, and they'll probably end shortly thereafter. So it's a pothole on the sidewalk. This is the building that was burned during the George Floyd protests. God knows when they're going to ever rebuild it. Hey, maybe that's what this is all about. It could very well be. Maybe they're laying that stuff in to bring in some heavy equipment to uh, fix, fix the park. That building. They're laying down these... Uh, big thingies on the sidewalk. And it looks like they're going all the way to that building. So the lodge was a uh, National Park Service office slash restroom and it was it was gutted by fire during the George Floyd protests. It's been, you know, this state since the day it happened back, what was that, 2020, I guess it was? Uh, three years. That's, uh, that's government work for you. <laughs> uh, let's catch that light. We made it. Right, we're going to sneak up to McPherson and then we're going to cut over to Franklin. Now, it used to be that Franklin Square was filled with homeless people and then they did a massive redevelopment of Franklin Square. It made it look really nice, but they also kicked all the homeless people out. So now all the homeless have started to settle here in McPherson Square, which is basically a tent city. Last time I counted, I counted about 60 tents, but to be honest, there look like there's even more now. I'd say yeah, they're adding more tents regularly, it looks like. As they close other campsites, other uh, tent cities in town get shut. Everybody gets shuffled over and shoved and over to McPherson here, just two blocks from the White House. So that's McPherson Square right there. And one block away up here is Franklin Square. Franklin's been fully renovated, cleaned up. I think they even have security here to uh, shuffle off anyone who tries to set up a tent. We're just down here because next to all that is, well, my happy place, five guys. Let's get some lunch. Oh, yeah. These are really hot. Well, I've been sitting around here for an hour to show you the Golden State Warriors when they come out from their 245 meeting. It's now 410 and they haven't come out yet. They're having dinner or something. I don't know. Uh, I got stuff to do. So we're going to bail and uh, edit up this video. Thanks a lot for watching today. We'll see you tomorrow and we'll try to show you something interesting then. Bye bye.